For a hundred years, Goral Ranch has been farming in the Sacramento Valley. I am with Corey Davis. She is part of this farming family. Corey, how did it all start? Well, the Goral Ranch was founded by my great grandfather, Ralph Goral, and he started farming in this area in 1918 after coming up from the Bay Area where he um, went to school at Cal and became an engineer. And he got to this area because he was working on the roads and bridges as an engineer here and he fell in love with this area and he was an avid sportsman and an avid conservationist so where we are today is what he established nearly a hundred years ago with his gravity fed irrigation system and so he put all of his engineering skills to learning how to become a farmer. Your grandfather had three daughters and this farm is still in your family. Mm -hmm. That speaks to uh, some deep values for farming. Talk about that. It is. Well, we're kind of a unique farm in the sense that, you know, we're a fourth going on fifth generation family farm, but instead of passing on the Goral name to sons, my great grandfather had three daughters. And so I think it really speaks to my family's um, heritage and commitment to farming that three women were able to manage and maintain this farm for their children and then their grandchildren. And they did it through an active management team. They had hired help and they had a hired farm manager that, that managed the crew and, and ran the crops. But the three of them were intimately involved in all of the you know big decisions and, and capital improvements. And, um, and they passed that, that legacy onto their kids. And let's talk food, because obviously farming means food. What are you growing? So the Goral Ranch grows uh, rice mainly, which is what you see behind us is our, uh, our wintered rice fields, which have our decomp water on it for these beautiful swans and geese that we have behind us. And then we also have tree crops. So we grow walnuts, almonds, prunes, and pecans. What are some of the challenges in farming? Speak to pecans. So. <laughs> Pecans are interesting because they don't come off the tree till late and you have to have a very hard freeze. So that means your harvest is pushed back and then you're dealing with weather. And then you can't get into the orchard floor because if it rains, then it's too wet. The good thing about pecans is that the shell is so watertight that if you can't get in there to pick up the, the nuts, you can leave them on the ground. And if you need to pick them up in February, you can do it because they won't be damaged because that shell is so tight that it'll preserve the nut. Oh, that's intriguing. Um, speaking of growing, why is the Sacramento Valley such a great place to grow these commodities? Well, I think it has to do with a number of things. I mean, obviously for rice, it has to do with the soil and we are in a very deep, dense adobe clay soil that is perfect for holding water. And then, you know, the orchards, um, you know, walnuts are a, are a huge commodity this far north in the Sacramento Valley because we're pretty far north up here in Durham. And our access to water and, um, you know, having, having the luxury that we have to be in Northern California and have really excellent access to water.